Louisiana Beer Review Special Edition KBC Blueberry Ale Revisited. Yes. For me, not for you. No. First time for Elizabeth. Um, First beer review of 2016. Yep, per, this is... Yeah, it's my first beer of 2016. Although this will be posted on the 2nd of January. We're doing this on the 1st. Should have um, worn my New Year's hat. I regret yep. everything. It's produced in Maine for Trader Joe's. Yes. They also sell it under the Sea Dog brand of beers. Another brand, you know, a line of beers that they own, which are common around Ooh, here. I smell it already. Yeah. So, um, wow. And then they have the Shipyard line. I don't know if Shipyard has their blueberry beer. I think it's just the Sea Dog and this. Um, I, I have reviewed it. I wrote a written review, but I don't, I don't want to influence you okay. and tell you about what the other people are saying. just want you to. Now, you were talking earlier. We had to restart this because I couldn't get the twist cap. These KBC beers, you can never twist the cap. There's twist caps, but they're like fused. you got to use an opener, really. But um, you were saying you had the blue... So, like, with fruit beers, for me, it's kind of hit or miss. Something like Wild Blue. Like, I might casually, you know, drink it in the same way I might casually drink a soda, but it's it's not, like, great. It's just kind of really syrup, like, really strong, really yeah, syrupy. But then some, like, Samuel Smith's Organic, like, Strawberry Ale is really good. And I had, I think, like, an apricot, you know, sometimes, like, a, an apricot beer or things like that that I really like. So it's kind of like mm -hmm. uh I don't typically. Shoot, I don't because. typically like flavored beers of any kind, but um, some are obviously better than others. I'm almost nervous about this because I can already smell it. Yeah, it's now like we can smell the syrup. blueberry um, flavoring. Mm. And whether it uses real blueberry, they don't say that. It does smell like a blueberry muffin or something. It it's, does. No mistaking. It's very strong in the blueberry. Now the appearance is golden. There wasn't much head of foam. It's clear. Let's see. It's uh, mostly yeah. It's clear. Um, some little bubble streams. So, you know, it's an ale. It looks like a golden ale. Yes. And smells like blueberry, so. That's about it. I'm like a blueberry muffin. Mm. So let's go with the taste. Okay. And you've never had, like I said, you know it. That's really dry. Yeah, it's a dry finish. Wow. Champagne like, in a way. Um, super blueberry. Tastes very much like, not so much like a handful of fresh blueberries or anything, but it tastes like some blueberries in a pie or... Yeah, it kind of tastes like a blueberry muffin. Blueberry muffin, I keep going back to. Now I really would like some blueberry muffin. Maybe with the artificial blueberry coloring and flavor. I don't know. It's not bad. It's... Did they say that is natural flavors? Because... Yeah. But that, I'm a little that's in question. Skeptical. Yeah, it says uh, ale with natural flavor. Hmm. So, um... Yeah, best before March of 2016. Okay, so we're within the freshman state. It does, like I say, come from Maine. The dryness with the blueberry is kind of weird. Like, it's kind of throwing me off. So I'll we'll have to pour this. We'll have to uh, post this on the NEBR, New England Beer Reviews, um, Jeff Lyons. Yeah. I almost feel like for, for a sweeter, like... It's not too sweet. It mostly, to me, now I'm going to tell you what it tastes like to me. To me, it tastes like sort of like a regular old beer. With a hint of blueberry flavor. Yeah. Just the dryness is, I would almost expect it to be richer, wetter. An like. ale, sort of like beach bum that Michelob used to make. Tastes kind of like that. Um, these golden ales sometimes would be very mild in their mm -hmm. flavor. They're not that different from um, a regular lager beer, like a like you say, Miller High Life type thing. Although they usually have a little richer flavor. Maybe, maybe more body, maybe not. Um, it is pretty dry, like... A lager, but it says it's an ale. I like it. The sweetness, like I started using that Cyclops scale. They have five sugar cubes and then five hop cones, so they mm -hmm. measure sweetness. How many sugar cubes? Five would be the most sweet, and one sugar cube would be very little sweetness. I would say it's probably two out of five sugar cubes. Yeah, it's not super sweet. It's just like fruity, obviously. And the bitterness will probably be one out of five hop yeah. cones. It's not bitter at all. So it's not too sweet and it's not too bitter. It's just kind of on the, to me, the bland side, but there's no off or like gross flavors. No, it, it's just the, the mouthfeel really caught me off guard. That's not what I was expecting at all. But the more I'm sipping on it, the, you know, the better it's kind of tasting to me. And you can get a six pack of Trader Joe's for about $5.99. Really? 
Oh, yes. Oh, oh, I wish they would open a Trader Joe's in Alabama. The fresh market is too expensive. Yeah, most of their beers that are store brand beers, like I say, KBC is the shipyard that they just re, you know, they just changed the name, at the label, same yeah. bottle. <clears throat> they probably just make so many shipyard or sea, do <coughs> sea dog. Then they'll say, okay, switch the labels. We got this much we got to make for Trader Joe's. Then they slap the KBC labels. Yeah. I don't think they're any different. Um, but I've never had the Sea Dogs, so I can't really say. You may have. I feel like I had an apricot one, but I don't even know for sure if that's what the brand was. And, it just um, sounds familiar. This company, you know, they run these pubs and these like little, uh, what do you call them? Brew pubs. It's like a little restaurant. Yeah. Where you can eat, and then they have the beer. They're making the beer there. And they have that Federal Jacks in Maine. And then I think down in Florida and some other locations, they have these Sea Dog restaurants that you can go to. I don't think it's anywhere off the East Coast, though. But I don't know how you would rate this. Um, I have some other KBC beers in the fridge. I had bought these for somebody else, and then he never came to get them. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm giving you till January 1st, and then I'm drinking them. Because if you wanted them, you could have gotten them. He's, he's not even... 20 miles away, I don't think, so it's like ridiculous, so. If you're watching Well, he's beer. giving me beers. Yeah. And um, he's really nice. He gives me all kind of beers. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, I'm going to, when I was in Trader Joe's, I said, well, these aren't the greatest, but I'll buy them for him. And he can try them because I don't think he's ever had them. Mm -hmm. And um, so he just never did come get them. So I said, well, I'll just drink them, you know. And, and when I'm on the road, on a road trip in the future, I'll buy him some really good stuff, you know. But, um. So if you're listening, Mike, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that what the situation was. Well, I just didn't want to stay in the cabinet and go stale. You understand mm -hmm. that? So, I mean, he's he's pretty laid back. He's not an uptight person, so I don't think he would really care too much anyway. But, um, so how would you score it? I think an A-. minus. I really like it. The dryness is a little much at first. But it's good, and for the price especially, that's like... Yeah, I gave it kind of a rough score last time, nice. last time, but I would go to probably a B plus. You're saying A minus, I'll say B plus. I could probably be talked to an A minus in the sense that it's not, for the reason, not in the sense, but for the reason that it's not overly fruity. Yeah, I like... It's just like a hint of blueberry. I like the aroma flavored is beers. Strong. Yeah. And so I like the fact that this doesn't, it's not like wild blue, it's not like syrupy. It's not like I feel like I'm drinking candy. Yeah, you know, and so wild, yeah I like and, that. And wild blue is 8% alcohol. So it's really strong. You know, this is like mild compared to... Yeah. To... What's that one called you were saying? I can't ever remember the name of it. Wild, Wild Blue. Wild yeah. Blue? I just can't ever remember the name. Wild Blue. I want to call it Blue Dog because it's got the dog on it. Mm -hmm. They used to make a Wild Red. That was discontinued. Mm. They only make the Wild Blue today. Um. Anyway, it's a good beer. I mean... You're only paying five ninety nine for a six pack, so it's a value. And there's a whole line of them. They're not the greatest thing, but then it's Trader Joe's. It's like a discount store, and you can buy some discount beers there that really are bad. And I talked about those um, before, so you got to watch out over there. But you know, buy them, try them. You might like them, might not. Um, we've had a bunch of their beers, like we did that Bosom. Remember that chocolate beer? We've done a few chocolate beers, I don't know for sure. From Trader, Trader Joe's, and those were kind of weird tasting. But anyway, so, um, okay, a good to excellent score from us. And we're going to say laissez les bon temps and y'all come on down to, um, <laughs> excuse me, New Orleans. <laughs> Happy yes. New Year 2016.